American design movement in interior, product, graphic design, architecture, and urban development that was popular from roughly 1945 to 1969. during the United States' post-World War II period. The term was used descriptively as early as the mid-1950s and was defined as a design movement by Cara Greenberg in her 1984 book Mid-Century Modern, Furniture of the 1950s. Mid-Century Interior Design for a Modern Home Uncluttered sleek lines and an understated appearance are making a decidedly welcome comeback. A well-stocked and swanky bar will also make you a rock star party host. Whether it is 1950s or 2022. This style emphasized creating structures with ample windows and open floor plans, with the intention of opening up interior spaces and bringing the outdoors in. Let's go swimming! The 1950s were an exceptional era in the evolution of the kitchen. This is the decade when the kitchen became the heart of the home. I have to say my personal choice is the vintage kitchen. I think it is beautiful and inviting. One particular feature of Formica counters was the metal banding around the edges. Steel was the usual material that was used for cabinets in the average 1950s kitchen. Colors like red and turquoise were the staple of the 1950s. Mid-century color ideas will help you find the color scheme that you need. Wallpaper on the ceiling is not to my style of design, but done tastefully can be beautiful. The mid-century modern movement took hold in post-World War II America, in response to our rejuvenated economy and to the suburban, middle-class housing boom that followed. Decorating your dining room doesn't have to be complicated. Especially in mid-century design.
This modern living room still gives you the design of mid-century. With the color turquoise, the chandelier and the coffee table in gold color. In the video description, you will find links to similar items that can help you achieve the different designs in this video. Please help support this channel by using the links below. Thank you.